Hey, Frugivore. I'm Freely. Welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So it's a little bit crazy here. We haven't seen the sun for like about six days. So I have to quickly film this. The rain has stopped for a little bit, but I can hear it coming again. So today we're going to react to Natalia Ocean. I'm not exactly sure how to, if I pronounce it all right then. I haven't had a chance to look it up because of this situation, but we're going to react to her because she has been requested in the past. All right. And I, I haven't, actually, I don't know anything about her, but we're going to check her out today. All right. If you want to see more of these videos, thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like them. Just do something if you want to see more of these videos. All right, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, Frugal, well, here we are on Natasha, Natasha Oceane. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce her name. I've never heard it pronounced and I don't have the internet right now. I've just downloaded this video and I'm reacting offline because of the lack of solar power. So excuse my terrible pronunciation if it was wrong. So she has 1.32 million subscribers. So she's got heaps, heaps of young women following her. So we're really, really hoping her message is empowering for herself, for fellow females of the world and males, of course, but animals and the planet, right? So this video, what I eat in a day, healthy plus simple meal ideas. So we will see whether they are healthy. Okay. So it's had over 360,000 views in like a month or something, 21,000 likes. So yeah, she's reaching a lot of young women. So let's get into it. Let's check out what Nat, let's just call her Nat. Okay, I'm sure she won't mind. Let's see what Nat is eating. Breakfast. Today. We're going to have grilled banana. Wow. Yes. So straight off the bat, she's going in with some fruit. Grilled? Okay, but it's fruit, right? It's bananas. So I am the banana girl, so really? I approve of that. Yeah. Are you excited for it? <laughs> banana I am. tastes better when it's grilled. Oh, well, if it's an unripe banana like that, if they're unripe bananas, you know, slightly green on the ends, and there's no spots or anything. Yeah, it's going to taste better grilled for sure. And look, you know, banana is not my favorite fruit. Believe it or not. Yes, I am the banana girl, but it is not my favorite fruit. But it always makes me feel fantastic. OK, a large banana meal, ripe, spotty, makes me feel great. So I do include it often in my day. You know, almost every day I have a banana meal. I don't OK. Know Really? It's super easy. You just put a little bit of like light butter on there, then grill it. Oh no. So the butter in there is unnecessary. And then grab some toast, whack some ricotta on it, but not just go on top, drizzle it into it. So it really oh. is fine. I mean, so it's really unnecessary to use butter. I don't know whether it's plant based butter or not. I don't think so at this point, but like it's just unnecessary to add that fat. You don't have to. I've grilled bananas many, many times. You do not need to add this. At the same time. Is it? <laughs> And that's your backup. That's my backup. If things go horribly wrong, I'm relying on I this one half to take me through the day. And sorry, just to be clear, horribly wrong just means if it splits. Correct. In which case, we still do get to eat, right? <laughs> yeah, we still get to eat. This is a this is a fascinating format they have going on here with the interview over breakfast. But it's less satisfying. Right. Okay. Well, so one, two, three, like one two three like three and a half bananas there um that that is great it's a shame with the butter we have to think about mama cow and baby cow but other than that we're looking good here right i feel like i need to confess though because i film what i eat in a day is on much more chill days um the last two weeks we've literally been eating porridge and look porridge is fine okay porridge which is like oatmeal i mean that's fine depends what you put in it but it's very beige right it's very it can be very very old very aged you are a fresh being you are a watery fresh being you don't really want to be putting this dry dehydrated kind of food in your system especially first thing in the morning but i still am supportive because it is plant-based and it still is a good source of carbohydrate no. <laughs> plus we've got a little bit of a secret ingredient in there. Let me show it to you. Oh, okay. Chocolate milk. So you can hardly call it porridge. It's more like a chocolate soup. Chocolate oat chowder. Chocolate oat. Yeah, yeah, fine. Oat <laughs> milk. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. No fruit. That's wow, that's rich. That is quite rich. So it's going to have quite a bit of cacao most likely in it. And I have spoken about why I don't have cacao. It is in the same family as caffeine and it just doesn't work for me, right? It is, it's a psychoactive stimulant, has theobromine, it crosses the blood brain barrier. It's not particularly healthy for your brain. And that's why we get this like jolt, this stimulation. So just keep that in mind. Oh, look, I mean, damn. Okay. She's got a teller under there. Okay. But that's looking good. It's looking like a pretty small serve. I would put more but great seeing that fruit on top uh, no. obviously you know that's just a sign that you need to add more fruit if you want to have nutella so instead of having that nutella add like a lot more fruit 
Okay, so what is that? Is that cream cheese or something? All right, so we're, we're looking at, again, there's some fruit there. Excellent. Um, bread, yeah, sure. It's very dry. It's, you know, the grains have probably been in that silo before they got processed for potentially years, you know, quite a long time. And then the flour sits on the shelf and then you consume it. And you are a high water, juicy being. So you want to get the sweet and juicy in first thing in the morning. But I, I don't know what that cream cheesy thing is or whether it's plant-based or not. Okay. Ricotta. All right, there we go. So um, breakfast, breakfast toast with ricotta, grilled bananas, berries, and maple syrup. I mean, she was going great there, but she doesn't need to put that ricotta in. No, no need to put the ricotta. It's just absolutely unnecessary. It's not going to aid your body in any way whatsoever because you are a human frugivore. You aren't like uh, a, an animal that's meant to be having like the secretions from a bovine in particular or any other animal beyond you know, infancy when you have your mother's okay. milk. All right. So the size of that is like, yeah, you know, she's got like, I think that equals two bananas there. So it's around, you know, 200 calories. Um, the toast, maybe a couple of hundred calories. There might be around like 500, yeah, 500, max 600 calories there. Not too bad calorie wise. But I mean, like, is she, instead of ricotta, she could have, um, you know, I was going to say avocado, but that will obviously not go. But if she wants to have something like macadamia spread, and you know, I'm not 100% supportive of having like higher fat spreads first thing in the morning. But, you know, if she really wants to transition to, you know, fruit base, then putting some macadamia spread there is a great um, ricotta uh, substitute. I have the answer to staying fit, lean and healthy long term for life. Go fruit yourself. You really should go fruit yourself. And I recommend as a transition, I mean, you can fruit yourself straight away or raw till four, you know, and you can just be lean. You can see how lean I am, like super, super lean, fit, healthy. Um, this is the raw till four book. It's a good transition to a fruit based lifestyle. If you want to check out the books, the ebooks are in the, the link in the description below, or you can check out the physical books on Amazon. Unlimited calories, no restriction. I'm feeling pretty full. I've got like half of my toast left um, okay. and I was going to put it away and save it for tomorrow, but Mario's just... Mario's requested for the extra. <laughs> I just can't get over that throughout this entire video. There's going to be whistling in the background. <laughs> so I'm... Oh, so he ate, he ate the extra bit, I'm assuming. So maybe she had about 500 calories or so uh, for breakfast or maybe a bit less. <laughs> even. I'm going to do one of my classic workouts. One of the workouts that I've been doing since my physio... Okay, so she's working out, so she's burning more calories. So she needs to get the fuel in. So I don't know how much she's having. We're going to move on to where she's eating. But she, she's working out. Important to note that. Yeah, she's working out quite hard. All right, all right, right, right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm not sure what she's saying here, but we want to see the food. All right, here we go. Pretty, pretty funky kind of office set up there. That's pretty cool. Warehouse style. Okay, so okay. we're making an orzo salad, which is basically oh, like a pasta salad, but the pasta looks okay. like rice. This is, Mario's mum gave us this. Okay, so we got some um, pasta going in. Seriously? <laughs> this recipe is super, super easy. You just, mm -hmm. basically, I'm just gonna chop these in half. Done. Okay, there's a little tinny thing going on over here. Yikes. Um, all right, some green stuff, that's good. Some I'm plants. gonna chop that up a little bit. Chop Plants. these up, take this out of the can, chuck okay. all of that into a salad bowl, mix once that's done after 11 minutes. With the knife. With the knife. Yeah. And you're done. I really okay, don't good. like to spend much time on lunch, you know, because lunch is that time where it's like, do we have time? You know, and the answer is usually like, no, not really. I mean, like you should make time for your food. Okay, to eat properly, you, you got to make time. It is so important to your life, to your productivity during the day. Make time to eat your best and like take time to eat as well and be, and be in a relaxed state. How cute are these little peppers? Oh, uh, no. So she's got the, the wartime tinned uh, sea life, it looks like there. 
tuna probably. So it's got the heavy metals in there, the PCBs, the environmental pollutants that are concentrated, and then they encapsulate it in that tin, sometimes for years, right? So you just eat wartime food. Just seriously, you don't need to be eating this. <laughs> eat fresh plant foods, fresh fruits. That's actual food for the human frugivore, not this uh, old you know, fish flesh from the ocean. All right, so olive oil, pasta, lots of olive oil. I mean, it's great. So it's great to see that there is like a, a lot of plant matter in there and it's carbohydrates. You know, she's so got the pasta in there, which is kind of like rice-shaped pasta. Uh, but then she's got the tinned fish. You know, like it's just there's no point in putting that in there. And she's probably having because she thinks she needs a protein. And we've been just sold so many lies about the protein. You don't have to. If you just eat fruits and veggies, you are absolutely fine for protein. No problem. And no one will be able to prove otherwise. So salad with tuna, peppers and black olives. So I'm supportive. I think the serve should be much, much bigger. Just take out the, the tuna. With salads like this... You can just put anything you want in it. Tomatoes, feta. Feta would have been good. Feta would have been good. No, no, feta would not have been good. Spinach, if you want to put spinach, anything you want. Why, why would you want to put in like feta, which is just going to uh, lead to skin issues, digestive issues. It's cruel for baby mama, for the, the uh, mama cow and baby cow. Like it's totally unnecessary. So she's having that serve. Okay, good. She's showing herself eating it. All right, so I would say that would be about around the 500 calories as well, maybe 600. That was so good and very quick. Okay. All right, I think there's some food here. I mean, it was going to happen. Oh, okay. So it was going to happen. And you can see why it was going to happen because there wasn't a lot of fruit at the start of the day. There was some, okay? But look, you are a big frugivore, okay? We are big animals we require a lot of fructose a lot of glucose we require a lot of fruit sugar okay to start the day to get through the day and if we don't get it we will go to things we will go to like processed foods like this which aren't essentially foods but the human fruit of all just you know go for whatever it can if it's not getting enough fruit donuts okay so lots of very dense very very dense calorie source here which is very hungry She's just very hungry. So look, blackberry and pear, there's literally, you know, fruit on the donut. You can see there's a lot of fake fruit here. The frugivore, you know, there's no donut trees in nature, is there? there no donut trees in nature. Ah, isn't that fascinating? They actually went for the fruity one. They went for the blackberry and pear. There you go. Wanting that fruit. She was really wanting that fruit. She wants fruit. Oh my god, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be messy. Treat yourself, you know. Uh, you know, but it's like treat yourself how you should be treated. As in, like you're a frugivore who wants fruit. It's just like feed yourself, nourish yourself correctly. It's not that difficult. I know in this world it can be difficult with all of this junk food being just like pushed on us. All this marketing, all this just. Oh, crapola everywhere. But look, that's why you need to educate yourself on basic human physiology, which will bring you to the frugivore diet, which will bring you to a fruit-based diet. And then you don't have to make these excuses like, oh, I just wanted to treat myself when you just weren't meeting your basic needs and then you were going to junk food instead. That's just treating yourself badly. Nice. Yeah, she's getting the sugar hit now. She's getting that. She's getting that sugar hit. You can see this, right? This is fake fruit, fake fruit, and it's very concentrated. And when we allow ourselves to get too hungry, because you only you saw that she only had maybe about a thousand calories before. She only had about like eleven hundred calories or twelve hundred calories, maybe maximum. And now she's really hungry. We've decided we're not going to rush. We're just going to enjoy it. We're going to park the car. Let's all right, so they, ha they have their fake fruit together. That's very sweet. But you can see, like, the disconnect here, right? Really, because they're frugivores, they should be holding up fruit right now. They should be holding up some durian. That'd be amazing, right? I know it's not as easy to get as, you know, some other fruit, but this is just, yeah, it's funny. You haven't gone for that for a while. Mm. 
you, so you gotta, you gotta <laughs> they love it. You gotta realize this is like calories per bite is very high with these dense junk food, you know, donuts. Whereas with fruit, it is much lower because it contains a lot of fiber, a lot of water. So they're going to be naturally attracted to this junky fake fruit because they're going to get more calories, more energy per bite. So the brain's like, go to the very dense calorie source. Okay. Even though the human fruit of all needs a fruit and the brain knows it needs a fruit, it's like when they, the brain can't get the fruit, it will send you to the junk. They're just like, they're just out of it. They're just like, whoa, this is so good. Look all that jam. They're not even really talking. Look all that cake. <laughs> okay. okay, so they're really having a moment with the fake fruit. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's the blackberry. Mm-hmm. Blackberry. They're just, they're just really hungry. Tell me in the comments, can you see this? Can you recognize what's going on here? You know, you've been watching these videos. I'm sure you're picking up on why people eat this way. They don't eat sufficient fruit, namely sweet fruit. They don't eat sufficient calories in general at the start of the day. And then they get, you know, further on, they're like, oh, I just want something really dense. I want some junk food. This side of my mouth is getting a lot of action because my tooth is growing through. All right. So she did another workout. So she, she, Move your body again. We're having dinner. We ha so I would say um, with what she had before, plus that donut, she might be up to about like maybe 1,500, 1,400 calories. Having a special fajitas dinner. And Mario Mario's going to be taking control of this one. I'm going to be your sous chef. You made them the other night and they were spectacular. We got the tortilla wraps. Okay. The lime. The pepper, chicken, yeah. avocado. Oh no, she got the dead bird in there. Unnecessary again. You know you can make fajitas or ta tacos, whatever she's making, like so easily without taking the life of an innocent animal that wanted to live, that is here for its own purpose on it. Two avocados, sour cream, cheddar cheese, yeah. cheddar oh. cheese. Okay, so there's a lot of concentrated stuff coming in here the bovine secretion the solidified bovine secretion it's rancid remember that cheese is rancid all right so you're not having anything that is beneficial for your body and it is from the bovine teats so it's not for the human fruit refried beans what my catching is really good okay. tonight i don't know what this is what is this chicken seasoning chicken seasoning um, I'm hoping there isn't actually any dead bird in there, but like a lot of the time, these seasonings are made of plants. So people are seasoning the dead, the dead animal with actual plant seasoning because they want to taste plants because they're human. Animals. Two onions. I don't have time for this. So these are the refried okay. beans. I don't usually eat beans because it makes me feel a certain way. It ain't liquid and it ain't solid. Chicken. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's so unnecessary to have the bird in there. I mean, like, it's beautiful other than the animal that wanted to live. Um, obviously, the wrap is pretty old and processed, but, like, it's not a big deal. The big deal is the flesh there, the um, muscle tissue of the animal. And the cheese, obviously the rancid sort of fried bone I'm gonna eat two of them. I just wanna do them one at a time so I can truly appreciate, you know? So I would say that she's getting around, hang on. It's good, she's, she's showing herself eating it, that's great. Also we use the mild version on all of these ingredients because- Silly. Just have tofu, just have tempeh, have potato. You know, you don't have to have the muscle tissue or the fat. I mean, it's just, it's terrible for your health, for your waistline, your cancer risk, for the animal. Round two. Round three. Okay. So you can see what's happening here. She's loading up on the cheese and the meat because she didn't have enough fruit. She didn't have enough high carb foods during the day. I'm just finishing off the day with some berries oh. and then we're going to watch The Matrix. 
I am so glad that she is getting some more berries in there. I mean, like her What Ain't in a Day has had some fruit. You know, she she has got some fruit in there. I think she's on the right track. But obviously, there's things like the wartime um, tuna, merc- high mercury tuna. She doesn't want to have that in there. Not good for the brain, the nervous system. Uh, she's also got the the dairy, you know, which is not good for mama cow, baby cow, and also for us because we're not meant to have uh, secretions from a bovine, especially you know past infancy, because we've got our human mother's milk we're not meant to have any milk past that point or else we just expand it's not good for our skin digestion health in general uh also she's got the dead bird in there and she's having the donuts but she's you know she's having a bit more fruit there you know a bit more fresh getting some salad there's 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 good traits here okay i i am quite um hopeful for nat i think she does have a lot of potential we can see what is going on here. You know, she's not eating enough sweet fruit, enough calories early on. So, you know, that's something that she can look at. But yeah, I can see I can see some promise here. So Nat, definitely hit me up. If you want some coaching, I am keen to do that, help you transition to a fruit-based lifestyle. So let her know that I made this video. And yeah, don't forget to go fruit yourself and I will see you tomorrow.